Hi, my name is Sean and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Maxim Integrated. Today I'll be showing you how to measure current with the Max 4173 EV kit and a microcontroller, specifically the Arduino Uno. The easiest way to measure current is with a low side shunt resistor. When current flows through a resistor, a voltage is dropped across the resistance. This voltage can then be measured and give a direct representation of the current flowing through the resistor. Measuring this voltage directly with an Arduino can be challenging however, as the voltage dropped across the resistor is very small at low currents. The 10-bit ADC in the Arduino Uno simply does not have the resolution necessary to read the small voltage accurately. For example, if a 200 milliohm shunt resistor is used to measure a load current of 20 milliamps, the voltage dropped across the resistor will be 4 millivolts. The 10-bit ADC of the Arduino has a range of 5 volts over 1024 levels, one of which is zero. This means that each discrete step is roughly 4.88 millivolts. Since the voltage across the resistor is 0.88 millivolts less than one step of the ADC, the voltage seen by the Arduino is zero. Of course, you could increase the resistance of the shunt resistor so that more voltage is dropped across it. For example, if the 200 milliohm resistor is replaced by a 2 ohm resistor, the voltage dropped across it is now 40 millivolts. As this voltage is greater than the Arduino ADC voltage step, the voltage measured by the Arduino is better, but still not exactly right. The downside about using a higher resistance is that at higher load currents, there is an increased amount of power loss to the shunt resistor. A far more elegant solution is to use a current sense amplifier like the MAX4173. This current sense amplifier uses a low value shunt resistor to minimize I squared OR losses whilst amplifying the voltage dropped across the shunt resistor. By amplifying the small voltage, a lower value resistor can be used and far more of the ADC input voltage range can be utilized. I will now demonstrate the accuracy of the MAX4173 EV kit by following the quick start procedure outlined in the datasheet. The EV kit is powered with a 12 volt DC power supply connected to both VCC and OrSense in. A programmable load is connected to the other side of this shunt resistor and to verify the current flowing through this path, a meter on the current setting is connected in series, which then goes to the ground with the 12 volt power supply. If the programmable load is set to 1 amps, then the voltage at the output pin of the EV kit should be 3 volts. By using a multimeter connected across the ground pin and V out, I measure the voltage to be 3 volts, which indicates everything is working as it should. The multimeter set to, set to the current range also confirms that precisely 1 amp is flowing through the shunt resistor. The MAX4173 EV kit to an Arduino we can power the MAX4173 IC straight from the Arduino 5 volt pin. The ground of the EV kit is connected to the ground of the Arduino and the output of the EV kit is connected to analog pin A2. The power connections for the load have remained the same and the multimeter is still connected to EV kit output so that the results can be compared to the values which will show up on the LCD shield here. I have written a simple sketch which reads the analog pin A2 and displays it on the screen, with a small delay before reading the analog value again. Like before, the programmable load is set to 1 amps current. This time, the Arduino is converting the voltage into a digital value, which is then displayed on the screen alongside the calculated value of current flowing through the shunt resistor. As you can see, the values on the screen match those shown on the respective multimeters. Different value shunt resistors can be used on the EV kit, as well as different versions of the MAX4173 IC, which have different gain values. This allows for varying current levels to be measured by a simple microcontroller, which can be quite useful in many electronics projects. And there you have it. In under 6 minutes, I showed you how to configure the MAX4173 EV kit for use with an Arduino Uno, as well as discussing the downfalls of not using a current sense amplifier. That's all from me for today. Thanks and bye-bye.